I'm Grant Mundell, Investment Specialist at Equity Trustees with the October Monthly Market Review. During the month, investors moved to price in not only a Trump election victory, but arguably a red sweep. Bond yields rose and the US dollar soared as investors braced for higher fiscal spending, higher tariffs and lower taxes. Key points to note included, the Aussie dollar fell 4.8% against the US greenback, settling back at 65.82 US cents. Equity markets took a breather with the ASX 200 dropping 1.3% and global equities falling 1.65% in local currency terms. But in Aussie dollar terms, global equities actually rose 3.9%. So if you're invested in an unhedged global equity fund, the value of your investment rose. Bonds fell as yields rose strongly. Investors priced in less future rate cuts in the US due to stronger than expected US economic data, US inflation coming in a little bit higher than expected, and rising odds of a Trump victory as well as ongoing geopolitical tensions. A Trump victory is seen to be as inflationary, but also will require more supply of US Treasuries to fund all his fiscal spending plans. Wars are also inflationary, especially in oil producing areas such as the Middle East. More inflation and more treasury issuance equals higher bond yields. Sector-wise, gold and financials did well. The major banks in Australia continue to produce solid earnings. However, valuations for Aussie majors remain expensive in our view. US financials also fared well reporting solid third quarter updates. Consumer-related stocks continue to battle a depressed consumer who is increasingly value shopping. Companies such as Woolworths and Flight Centre struggled over the month. The US economy continues to surprise positively while, we hear, while we'll hear more from the Chinese authorities post the US election. Chinese authorities are fighting to stabilise the property sector and sombre consumer and the threat of higher US tariffs under a Trump-led government may impact what policies they put in place. So watch this space. Despite global central banks moving to an easing cycle and increasing Chinese stimulus, we're tactically slightly underweight equities because in our view, equity valuations are already pricing in not only a soft landing environment, but an environment of strong earnings growth, which we just can't see at this point, especially given earnings have continued to be revised lower over recent months. I'll be back again next month with the November monthly review.